and good day today we're having a look at the insta 1r little action camera well an accessory that i bought for it which is this it's the one inch wide angle module uh, i've been humming and harring for a while and i thought well now's the time i might as well buy the thing spend a bit of money on it buy it and uh, see what it's like now i've got to open it up i use my little knife of course as usual and uh, i think on the side there there it is there's a cut that and we'll see what's in here okay we've got a foam it looks like a foam backing on the top there um bit of info there specifications of it we'll have a look at that in a few minutes very very big box with uh, hardly anything in it as they say i don't think there's anything under it but we'll have a look no nothing under it so get rid of the box throw it to the side and uh that's what all the money's been spent on. A little tiny module. So we'll have a play with it and see whether it's worth all the hype that I've been hearing about it, whether it's uh, actually worth buying or whether I've just wasted my money. Find out soon enough, as they say. So I'll just tear this bit of protective cover off. I'll leave the lens go, um, little lens protector on just for the moment dismantle the little camera itself uh, which way we go that'll go that way and uh, it should snap in position oops and there we go so that all fits together quite nicely let's take this thing off and uh, hmm fire it up see if it's recognized So, we'll have a play with this and uh, we'll check it out and see whether it's uh, worth spending the money or whether I've wasted my time. The little uh, lens itself, the one inch mod, it, uh, I'm reading the instructions here. The warranty period is for one year uh, from the original uh, retail purchase and on the other side here it just gives you um, 35 millimeter equivalent focal length 35 mil 14.4 millimeter um, dimensions are 35 millimeter by 35 by 47.2 uh, basically goes on to say that it's not waterproof unless it's fully assembled screwed up tight and popped into a into the actual uh, mounting bracket um, just basically saying keep clean you know, normal normal sort of things that you'd expect on the on the actual uh, camera itself so I'll just leave that there you can have a bit of a read of it if you like so you can see we've got the pro selected at the moment um, 5.3k 24 frames per second 25 and 30 is max does um, go back to 4k 24 25 goes up to 60 2.7 24 25 up to 60 again, 1080p, 24, 25, 30, 60, 120. So that's the maximum settings there. We hit basic, and it's telling you um, that it uh, was at uh, basic supports, common resolution, uh, FPS, basic in the cam, stabilization in the camera. Okay, so basically it's telling you in that setting it'll be stabilized, and we'll confirm it. And if we go to pro, it's telling you there that uh, all resolutions at frames per second stabilization um, MP4 with uh, flow state uh, is in the application studio. Okay, fair enough. That's uh, okay. We'll leave it at that. I'm outside at the moment using the Leica one inch module and it's very, very windy. Just move around a little bit to give you an idea. The quality of the lens is quite exceptional. I'll be shooting the rest of the video on this lens and I'll be doing an indoor one, night scene. I'll put it on the helmet of my cat and ride, give you an idea what stabilisation is like and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm in my kitchen at the moment and we've just got the Leica 1 inch mod connected to the camera and it's on a little selfie stick and I'm just walking around to give you a bit of an idea of what the lighting is like and as you can see I'm not using any external lights I'm just simply using the kitchen lights so you can see the quality 
I'm under a, a street light outside at the moment and it's uh, pitch black as you can see. Now, for the last part of the video, I'm going to be shooting, well, sitting in my car, as you can see, I'm in the shade, and this will give you again uh, an idea as to what to expect when you're using the Leica one inch lens. I've been very happy with it. It's um, great in low light conditions. It gives excellent sharpness to the videos that you're recording. I can't fault it. So if you can afford it, definitely get it you won't be disappointed now hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video eh, consider giving me a thumbs up thumbs down either way doesn't matter leave a comment perhaps you've got a different opinion of this lens i'd love to hear it and hopefully i'll get to see you on the very next video whatever it happens to be all the very best till then bye for now